So I, I got uh, I got have to get new um, car tags uh, for Washington since my Wisconsin ones are are expired. <clears throat> Uh, but I don't have my car title. I don't um, know where it is. The only place I would keep it is in my car. Uh, and I just don't see it. I've looked everywhere. Um, all I have is this purchase order with federal disclosures. And I took it over to the, the auditor place who runs their department of driver's licensing and plates. And they said that uh, it's not. This isn't enough. This purchase order. They actually need a real uh, title. I asked them, "What's? Why is things shaking so much? Where is it? The wind?" I asked them what the difference is between the purchase order and uh, the title. And I asked him what information is different in it, and she, he just says that the title is just more official looking. So that's it. It's just the difference in how it appears. Uh, I got to work with that. Uh, it's going to take up to a week to to get that to me, a new title from California. I, I tried Wisconsin because that's where my life, my my car plates. I got new car plates at, and uh, they said that it has you have to get your your title from the state that it was you purchased it in. So um, I need to, to contact California, and it's a week. I'm pretty grounded now. Um, but yeah, I, I just I don't understand the the difference between the the, per the title and, and what this has. It shows that I bought it and everything. The more official looking paperwork is what the title is supposed to be. They don't even do any investigative work with it to, to get the title. If, if somebody stole my title and sold my car, um, it, they don't investigate that. It's, it's just about uh, getting the title. That's just it. It doesn't mean that they did any extra work uh, from the purchase order in comparison. It's just a different looking piece of paper that says the same stuff with with no additional work done to, to see if there's any illegal activity going on. So it's really frustrating. It's grounded me. I'm not really making any money here in Raymond. I kind of applied for a maintenance job, but... Uh, it's like they need experience. So I'm gonna try to watch a lot of YouTube videos and then come back and say that I have experience and see what they say. Um, see what uh, things are on YouTube. But this car, this uh, this car title thing, man, it's really frustrating. I got this car in 07. Just kind of, I've been free. You know, I just paid cash. It's on it free and clear the whole time, and it's just uh, been, it's been in my possession for a long time. Got 91,000 miles or so, but I can't I can't put it on the road anymore until I I get a a car title. What to do? So what am I gonna do for a week here in, in Raymond? The library closes on Sunday and Monday. I have to I have to use the internet outside of the building, which it's a little more difficult. I looked in my car though for this title. It's nowhere to be seen. I just can't illegally drive. I don't want to go to Oregon. See, I, I'm stuck here because. I really plan on going south to Oregon, and and I don't really want to take any any serious chances going to like Long Beach and getting pushed around by the cops there. It's it's pretty relaxed here, so I just leave my car more grounded until I can get a new registration or a new title, so I can get new plates. Because there's there's some cities that are really nasty, and this one isn't. So I just gotta work with uh, 
what what's available right now. 